Hello my friends, David here. A huge splurge of details have just dropped about a massive upcoming patch to Waifu Chronicles 2. In this video, I'll be reviewing the patch notes and discussing some of the main changes. Keep in mind, some of the finer details are still a bit obscure at the moment and we'll likely learn more in the upcoming week and upon release. Either way, this patch is something to be excited about. Obviously, the first big change, New Game Plus, is going to be released sometime next week. This is a mode you can enter after completing the main storyline for a more difficult second playthrough. It comes with it a huge slew of new changes and additions to make a second run through of the game a bit more interesting. If you haven't reached the end of chapter 7 or so, there may be some minor spoilers ahead. Aside from a more challenging playthrough, which we still don't know too many details about at the moment, we should be getting new rare blades that you can acquire in New Game Plus. The notes say the rare blades we can get are Akos, Petroka, Mikael, and the three blades they control respectively. We will also be getting Malos's blade as well. Oh my goodness, if all these blades come with side quests and heart to hearts and all of their unique components as well, this could just be just a crazy huge addition to the game and something I am unbelievably excited for. There's just so much more content, even with just a few additional blades as well. Um, the only details we know about at the moment are that these blades may be acquired either through story progression quests or from random drops. So farm up those legendary cores just in case. I have a video on that link in the description. New Game Plus also has the ability for you to send any blade on mercenary missions, including the main story ones like Pyra and Dromark. It also has additional driver affinity charts to make your characters even more powerful. A little curious change is that you will also be able to level down at inns rather than just leveling up. The bonus experience that you can recover from leveling down can actually be used as a unique currency to exchange items for with a new NPC that can be found at inns. This is kind of an addition that I did not see coming at all, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what kind of items we're going to be getting in these cases. Also, because Pyra's final form hasn't ever been able to use its level 4 special, the upcoming patch also adds a new level 4 special and its respective animation. It's a small change, but it'll be fun to try out here and there. Now one of the most common questions about New Game Plus is asking what carries over into that second playthrough, and the short answer is virtually everything carries over. As a general list, we get all of our blades and their respective affinity chart growth and equipped equipment. All our driver art levels and driver affinity charts also carry over. Our items and gold, town and mercenary levels, all of that is brought into the new game. We also still get our event theater content, and if you've already killed a unique monster, the tombstone remains there for you to summon again in the future. What this means for us is that pretty much everything we get that isn't locked behind story content moves over into New Game Plus. So if you want to go into the second playthrough fully geared up, do everything you can before starting the second playthrough. While we don't know how much more challenging or unique New Game Plus will be, I'm hoping it's going to be a healthy challenge. If you're like me and have maxed out almost everything, it's going to be difficult to surprise me. You know, either way, I'm really looking forward to the new blades and testing out some of the small changes. And outside of New Game Plus, there are some much needed quality of life changes coming our way as well. Firstly, and most importantly, we will be able to skip the blade animation that happens when you're opening cores. This annoying like three flashes and waiting will now be a thing of the past. We can grind our cores automatically with the Ardoran and then we can just mash a button to quickly open cores and that's going to be a huge game changer for us who are still looking to unlock those rare blades. Furthermore, we will be able to lock blades in our blade collection to prevent ourselves from accidentally releasing them and to remind us of blades that we use most commonly, maybe for those valuable field skills. 
The UI is getting a huge improvement as well. The zoomed out mini map that you can click open will now be able to display icons that you would normally only get at the skip travel menu. Furthermore, accessories, aux cores, and blade listings will get additional sorting functions to make finding items much easier. This is a change that I've been asking for a long time now. I actually read in some kind of interview that during the development of Xenoblade Chronicles 2, three programmers that were supposed to be working on the UI um, left for some reason or were no longer part of the team. And that is probably one of the reasons why the UI has been lacking all this time. And these changes finally coming about are something that is much needed. And with all of these intended changes in tow, the game is really coming together in a way that many of us have been waiting for for quite some time. I'm unsure if any of this is locked behind the expansion pass or not, but most people are thinking that this is just a general patch accessible to everybody, which would make a lot of sense, it would make me really happy. I think this game deserves this patch to be free for everybody. Uh, in the comments below, I'd love to know what you guys are thinking about this patch and perhaps some of the things that we're still hoping to add in. Next week, when New Game Plus drops, you can bet that I will be there. I'll likely make another video reviewing the changes when they happen. Oftentimes, what actually does get patched in is a bit different from what is shown in the patch notes, especially since the patch notes are still in Japanese at the moment. In any case, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Thank you.